first. Game and on. this will be played at a really good pace. Should be a cracking game. Uh, Steve Beaton against Michael Van Gerwen here. 45. Not the start that Mr. Beaton wanted. Of course, lucky to be here, some will say. Steve Beaton. 140. Only playing here today because of the withdrawal of Vincent van der Voort. But can Beaton make the most of it? 98. Michael van Gerwen looking to join Mark Walsh and Robert Thornton on eight points. Van Gerwen lost his opening game in a last leg decider to Thornton. Then won a last leg decider against Brendan Dolan from 5-3 down. And then he beat Peter Wright convincingly and Paul Nicholson by the same 6-3 scoreline. 96. Over on board one, Dennis Evans taking on Paul Nicholson. 60. Well, you require 142 then. Looking to break the throw in the first leg. 102. Well, I'm not sure what he was doing there, to be honest with you. There was, <laughs> he could easily have followed that first treble in. He has his own way of doing things, Michael Van Gerwen, that's for sure. Michael, you require 40. But he does need tops. 30. So there we go. Van Gerwen, in the blink of an eye, wins Second the first point, leg against the throw. Game on. Remaining games for Steve Beaton will be against uh, Brendan Dolan and Paul Nicholson. For Michael Van Gerwen, he will play Mark Walsh and Dennis Evans. Here comes Stevie Beaton. 180. Just get there, run quick. It was about to drop out the board. Steve Beaton hasn't run so quick in his life. 180. No doubt about that one. What a response and what a start to this game from these two players. One hundred. Oh, here he goes again. One hundred and sixty-five. He's on a possible ten dart leg, which would be the best leg of the day. Sixteen. Mocky requires sixteen. Double eight for a ten data. Getting closer. A shot on the second leg. Uh, Twelve darts will do, but he, he leads Steve, two nil. Right first. Game on. Yeah, Steve Beaton still featured for me in one of the one of the, the best games that I've had the privilege to commentate on at the Grand Slam of Darts two years 57. ago. When he came, well, he, he was out of it. Uh, I think he won six consecutive legs to beat Phil Taylor in the quarterfinals. 137. And it was just probably the best that Steve Beaton's ever played. It was just a fabulous, fabulous match. 96. Oh, here he goes again, Michael Van Gerwen. Well, when he's playing like this, he really is difficult to beat. But Steve Beaton is back with another one. 140. Well, Steve Beaton won his first World Masters title in 1993. 168. Oh, this is just unbelievable. Unbelievable darts. A 168 from Van Gerwen. But Van Gerwen was four years of age when Steve Beaton won the World Masters. 140. Mark, you require 16. For the second consecutive leg, he's on a 10 data. Well, no, it's 11. Leg, That'll do. But this has just been uh, a brilliant Michael performance from Michael first. Van Gerwen. But the pace will suit him, you see. You know when he lost to Paul Nicholson in the semi finals last night? 140. The pace of the game was all wrong for Van Gerwen. But in many ways, Steve Beaton's the perfect opponent for the way that Van Gerwen 100. plays. Averaging over 120 at the moment and adding to that with another maximum. Well, this is just unbelievable darts from Michael Van Gerwen. 
Here comes Steve Beaton to respond. One hundred and thirty-four. On, and another possible eleven data, Michael Van Gerwen. <laughs> here comes Steve Beaton, though. <laughs> Beaton's just Lucky throwing here, with no pressure on him. Double sixteen for an eleven data. Double eight for an eleven data. A twelve dart so leg has gone. An eleven dart leg has gone. And Steve Beaton can pinch it here. Twelve for the ball. Ball, ball for Stevie Beaton. 56, while he required 8. Well, this has just been astonishing darts from both players. He shot in a fourth leg. 15, 12, 11 15, and 13. First. Michael Van Game Gerwen's four winning legs. Ninety-nine. And it should. It could have been better, you know. Could have won the second leg in, in 10. Could have won the third leg in 10. 97. And could have won the fourth leg in 11. Imagine that. 10, 10 and 11 in three consecutive legs. 34. Steve Beaton just wants to win a leg. Van Gerwen's average, 117 at the moment. 134. And that'll increase. 58. Ah, oh, brilliant dart. 140. Those two darts were absolutely astonishing. But you can only see a quarter of the treble 20 bed. It could be 5-0 here. 92. Mark if Van Gerwen has his way, he could win this in 10 minutes flat. Treble 20 would leave the bull. Bullseye for a 130 for a 5-0 lead. Oh, unbelievable. And a 12 dart leg to follow a 13, 11, a 12 and a 15. We've not even been playing 10 minutes. Dream darts from one of the best in the business. 140. Averaging 120. Has to be. 140. 120, Michael Van Gerwen's average. 180. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is one of the best performances you're likely to see anywhere. It's only six legs 60. of darts, but this is astonishing. <laughs> well... You, you run out of superlatives sometimes to describe just how good this is. Steve Bean hasn't done a lot wrong, but he hasn't done a look in. 140, Mark, you require 84. For an 11 data to win it with an average of 120. Mark Van Gerwen. Unbelievable. He has won the whole match. In 74 amazing darts.